Okay, in this video, a traveling wave moving in the positive x direction, y is equal to a psi kx minus omega t. That's I will explain in this video. Okay, first we start with the uh, figure one here. This figure one is a uh, psi function a is the amplitude theta is the unit of radiance okay and then if we consider the psi wave moving in the space in this case I consider only the one dimension that is the x however this x unit is the meter so we cannot directly put uh, x meter into the uh, theta here so we have to change x to radians so by comparing this two figure here you can see that when the side wave moving in the space in the x the compare with the x axis as you can see so at the uh, one cycle of the side wave is we call the wavelength and this wavelength is the lambda okay and this uh, lam one lambda will be equal to two pi radians therefore by comparing this figure one and two here we can see that uh, if the distance is the lambda is equal to to radian and at the any position of the distance in figure 2 here it will be therefore equal to 2 pi multiplied by x divided by the uh, lambda radians therefore in this figure 2 here we can writing the uh, psi function in the function of the distance x as you can see here and and we if we consider 2 pi over lambda this is the wave number k as you can see here therefore we can obtain the uh, psi function as a function of x or distance in the one dimension okay and then if we consider the traveling wave as you can see here, traveling wave of the any function moving in the x direction so at the time zero here at the any function for example function g of x and this function g of x moving to the positive x direction with the velocity v here okay and then this is the at the time zero and then when the time pass to become uh, time equal to any time okay I assume the t okay time is equal to t as you can see here therefore uh, the the wave will move to the uh, positive x direction okay so uh, this function will move to the positive x direction here okay and the distance that they gonna move will be equal to the velocity multiplied by t here okay so this function g we can rewritten to become the g of x minus velocity multiplied by time okay so this is the if we consider that uh, the any function moving into the positive x direction okay therefore similarly for a traveling wave of the side function as shown here if we uh, have the side function and moving to the positive direction of x 
โอเคออเดอร์ไซน์ XT Side of XT โอเค so from feature 2 as I previously show that uh, if is if the side wave is not moving so it will equal to a side kx okay and then from the figure 3 here we consider that is moving to the positive x direction therefore from figure 2 here we just replace x by x minus uh, velocity multiplied by t here the same with uh, this image here that I previously explained okay as a result I can obtain the this is the a the same right psi the same k the same but for the x I replace by the x minus velocity multiplied by t okay and then as we know that uh, as we know that <coughs> uh, the velocity of the wave equal to omega over k and this omega is the uh, 2 pi f f is the frequency of the wave okay therefore if we replace this velocity into this velocity here so we will obtain psi as a function of xt will be equal to a here psi here k is here x here so we replace v here okay v by the omega k finally we obtain the traveling wave a traveling wave moving in the positive x direction in the figure 3 here equal to this function okay thank you very much